In this video, we complete the modeling of the gable frame, create the stiffening bracings, and learn some new techniques in RFM. First, we make an important setting change for the object snap, which is required for entering In the data navigator, under guide objects, right click the standard object snap to edit it. In the new dialog box, you can find the list of all available object snaps on the left. Here you can create new ones and edit existing ones. Under objects, activate perpendicular and intersections if they are deactivated. Confirm the change and create a new member for the transverse stiffening. Instead of redefining the member properties, you can import the properties of an existing member by clicking the respective symbol. Add the stiffening members to the structural model by clicking the desired points one by one and then exiting the input by right-clicking. Ensure that you snap to the nodes and object snap marks accurately. By modeling the stiffening members, red nodes have now been created for two of the members in your structural model. These red nodes represent topology nodes. To assign these nodes to the columns, double click them to change their type. In the dialog box, select the on member node type from the list and choose the desired member and node location. Set a view that allows you to select the inner members of the frame with a single selection window. To copy them, drag and drop them to the desired position while holding down the control key. We also need to make sure to change the copied nodes to on member nodes as well. Remove the tapers from the outer beams as they rest on the gable columns. While holding down the control key, select the four members and double click the edit member dialog box. In the section area, define a uniform distribution type and select a suitable section from the section library, such as the standardized W14 by 38. To insert the stiffening bracings, click the new member button again, select the tension member type in the main tab, and choose a suitable section such as a parametric round bar with 0.75 inches diameter. We also need to change our material from steel A992 to steel A36. Now we place the tension members diagonally in the midspan of the steel hull, making sure to select on the nodes to enter the members correctly.
You can use the wireframe display to try and help with the input accuracy. If you make a mistake, you can always use the control key plus Z to undo the last action or delete the wrong member using the delete key. The speed of the input mirror the inserted bracings to the other side. Use the object selection to select all tension members. Create a new object selection in the data navigator and then click on mirror. Activate the Create Copy checkbox and select the mirror plane and desired mirror point. Once you finished entering the structural model, perform various model checks in RFM to find and correct errors. For example, you can open the Tools menu and click on Identical Nodes. This is under Model Check, to, and this allows you to address identical node issues. Steel Hall is almost finished, and in the next video, we will learn about how to add different types of nodes and supports.